Today I'm going to be renovating my subscriber's townhouse in Blocksburg. So this is Kat. She has a budget of $77,000. She has all the game passes and for her house she wanted a vintage modern interior style. And this is her beautiful townhouse. And if you guys want me to renovate your Blocksburg house, all you have to do is either be subscribed to the channel or you can join my Discord server with the link in my description. But before the video starts, I want to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor which is Life Makeover. You guys might have remembered Life Makeover. It's a lifestyle simulation game and the possibilities are literally amazing. From being able to cook, exercise, chill with your besties, immerse yourself in stories, and even customize your own character. Like from every single facial detail, skin color, body shape, you name it. Like the amount of in-depth customization and clothing options in this game is literally insane. You can even live out your fashion designer dream by creating DIY outfits. I'm talking picking the fabric, button the clothes, sewing, like literally designing your own clothes. Like how cool is that? And I haven't even got started on the building aspects of the game. You can literally build your very own dream home. What I love about this game is how personalized you can make everything, especially with building and furniture placement, there's no limitations. And here is my beautiful bedroom that I made. And you can even interact with all the furniture. Yes, you can sit on the toilet. And FYI, Life Makeover's new version, Guardian Cutie, has just came out. And in this new version, you can put on these beautiful animal outfits and join Life Makeover in protecting wildlife and even becoming good friends with nature. And this new version of Life Makeover is now available for a limited time from July 12th to the 1st of August. So you can click the link in my description to download Life Makeover today and explore the game for yourself. Thanks Life Makeover. So let's get started. So as you can see, this is Kat's current house. Honestly, I think it's really pretty. So this is going to be kind of fun. Okay, so let's see what we're working with firstly. So let's head on inside, shall we? Okay, so the entry area is on the second floor and oh my gosh, girl, you didn't even need me to renovate this. This is actually stunning. Okay, so when you walk in, the first room we have is obviously the kitchen and the dining room. But for like a limited space, I'd say it's very, very cute. Okay, I totally understand why she asked me for a vintage interior. Like, this kitchen is literally everything. I think this is like the downstairs area. Oh, okay. Okay, so the downstairs area we have... <laughs> is that Gordon Ramsay? Are you part of the Gordon Ramsay cult? Okay, lounge room is very very cute. I love this. Oh, and in this corner we have like a little toy section. Yeah, she has more Gordon Ramsay over here. Oh my god. <laughs> And I think this is the final floor, which is the third floor. And oh, okay. All right, so this is her bedroom. Very cute. Let me open these blinds. Cat, it is literally 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Why is your blind shut? Let me just open these for you. Wait, guys, Cat has my little AV initials. Okay, so this is the bedroom. Very, very lovely. And then in the bedroom, we have the bathroom. Wow, you know what? This is just giving me like New York vibes. Like, tell me this doesn't look like a New York bathroom. Okay, and then over here, we have her closet. Ooh, this is a pretty spacious closet. Okay, so the house being toured and now it is time to work my renovation magic now get out of here okay so while i work on cat's house cat will be using my workstation but by the looks of it cat is not using my workstation she's uh testing out all my cars i think she's now testing my motorbike oh there she goes bye cat have fun. Okay, so as you can see, we've got exactly 77,000. So as you wanted like a modern slash vintage house, I kind of have like the perfect idea for what I want to do. So starting off with the front yard, I'm actually going to get rid of this like footpath and kind of make me own footpath, you know? Now the first thing I want to do is like get rid of everything that I don't want. For example, this garden is actually pretty cute. I might keep the garden. These rails, however, I don't really like these rails. And as for the inside, I'm going to keep some of the things. Usually in these renovation builds, I like delete absolutely everything but the thing with Kat's house is that it looks like very thought out and organized so I don't want to like delete all of her progress you know what is going though this kid section like who even needs kids in Bloxburg <laughs> although because it's like a vintage house I don't know if I want this TV all right the second floor is the kitchen the kitchen's actually very nice and I'm just gonna tidy up the place a little bit because right now kitchen is looking kind of messy and we're just gonna fix it a little bit what is this look at all these vintage decals actually you know what for her coffee table we're not gonna delete her cookies in her food because that is so mean. We're just gonna put these over here for now. I'm gonna do like my own custom coffee table. It's gonna look very nice. And then up in her bedroom. The bedroom's all right. I feel like we could do better though. So the bedroom's gonna go. I guess the Gordon Ramsay photos can stay. The chandelier's gotta go. Now with like her bathroom and her closet, I'm actually gonna knock down this entire wall here. And you're probably like, Alaska, what are you doing? Oh, I just deleted her floor. I have a plan for what I wanna do, but for this to work, I do actually need to get rid of a lot of things. And up on here, as you can see, 
see the top floor is flat so i don't want this and i don't know it just it's kind of throwing me off a little bit so we're just gonna grab the wall from down here and then kind of copy this layout here okay so now we just have to go ahead and fix the roof by adding another flat roof on top actually we're gonna add two flat roofs and as you can see it just gives the roof a little bit more texture okay and we also need to copy these windows i can tell that she worked really hard on these windows however i'm gonna replace the windows with traditional windows instead because i am just obsessed with the way they look and we'll also give the wall some structure by adding like square beams at the bottom here and it just makes it look very realistic instead of just adding a basic flat wall i was so excited when one of you guys asked me to build a townhouse like i am ready this is my moment i haven't built a townhouse in blocksburg in so long we also have to paint the rest of this house because right now it's like two different shades y'all i just looked at the back of this plot why is it three different colors <laughs> And what is that thing sticking out of the wall? Get out of here. Also, another thing that I noticed that she didn't add is like windows at the side of her house. And as you can see, it's like very, very dark in here. And I also want to give her her own backyard because I feel like a townhouse should have a backyard. And for a townhouse backyard, I feel like this would be made out of like large stone walls. It's going to be a very, very small backyard. As for the stairs, I also want to change these as well because she kind of asked me for like a modern townhouse. I feel like white stairs would suit. And we also need to add like the footpath that goes kind of along here. And for the fences, we're going to use these stone railing. Also, Kat seems like a very detailed builder, so I'm going to make sure to add lots of decals, lots of crown molding, without obviously running out of a budget, because we do not want that. Now, another thing we need to add in here is obviously windows. But the only problem is we cannot add windows because there is furniture inside, so we have to remove all the furniture that's blocking the windows, unfortunately. Alright, so some windows on the side here. Okay, so what we're going to do is start from the bottom floor and then work our way up, and as the outside is all finished, I guess the first room we can work on is the living room. Now, for the living room, I'm actually gonna keep her TV. I'm just gonna add it like on this wall instead. And also, I don't think the kid's bedroom should be down here. <laughs> Why is there a Gordon Ramsay poster above the nursery? Like, what? Get out of here. Now, as much as I love this big TV, because it's like a vintage townhouse, I feel like a fancy painting above the fireplace would look so much better. But we can't forget to add windows back here because this is obviously where the backyard's gonna go. And for this, we're going to be using double sliding doors. Y'all, cat, your roof is two colors, babes. We got it. <laughs> we gotta fix this. All right, so now I have to go in every single floor and redo the flooring. We're also going to fix up all the colors on the stairs as well. Okay, now that the floors are all fixed, we can finally start decorating. Now, the one thing I love about her living room is these four wall paneling. So, you know what? I'm actually going to add them on the entire downstairs area. However, some of it's a bit dark, so we're going to make it like a lighter texture. And I'm actually obsessed with this painting, so I'm actually going to put that right here. I'm thinking this little section here can be like a study desk. So, what we're going to do is put this cabinet in the corner, and then using a basic shape, kind of bada beam, bada boom, lift it up a little little bit and then put another basic shape underneath it. This way we're kind of doing like our own little DIY study desk. And then as you can see, she's got like a very adorable little desk. And I guess on her desk, we can have like a lamp. I feel like this log table lamp is definitely vintage. And if we want to be super fancy, we can put like a vase in the middle like this. Voila. Oh damn. Okay. She is beauty. She is grace. Now, instead of putting a laptop on this desk, like I feel like the person sitting here would read a book. Actually, we're going to make this back bit out of like custom wallpaper. So something like this. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen we have our desk and over here i feel like this is the perfect place to add like a reading nook so what i'm going to do is put three simplicity stools like this we add like a flat roof where this little section is then we'll be able to like bring it up like this and then as you can see we've got like a little sitting area which you can actually sit on and to make this nice and cozy we can have like pillows and blankets i feel like we need another little step here it's a pretty high jump <gasps> oh my gosh for some reason it's kind of reminding me of harry potter i don't know why okay now as for the living room itself we're gonna keep her little rocking chair and i feel like these tough sofas are definitely vintage now we just need to add some pillows make it cozy oh my gosh you know what we're missing here candles like hello it's a vintage house how did we not add candles okay for her coffee table instead of a regular coffee table we're gonna put an ottoman instead can you guys believe i just didn't use a custom-made coffee table i feel like we need more decorations up on this fireplace so maybe some books up here that is like so random but i feel like a little deer here would like make for a cute book stopper see i don't know i think i kind of like it. There's a little section back here. I feel like this is very, very dark. Maybe we can just have like one spooky sofa in the corner. <laughs> I don't know why, but we definitely need a spooky sofa. I feel like this section back here would be cute if you were going to like read a book. All right, and there we go. I think our little lounge room is done. So now we can move on to the backyard, which is here. For the backyard, I feel like another extra layer of fence would look really cute. Like I'm talking these classic hanging lights above this fence. You know what? I feel like a little pond moment would look really cute. I don't know how I'm going to pull this off considering I have a 85,000 left, but you know what? We're gonna do it. And then around this, we can have some cobblestone. You know when you guys have an idea in your head and you don't know if it's gonna like work
work out well. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. It's either gonna like flop or like go really well. So in this little pond, we can have some lily pads. And in the middle here, we're gonna have this little arch. We're gonna create a little stepping stone moment. Okay, you know what? That actually turned out so cute. You know what? We're also gonna have a fireplace out here as well. Okay, there we go. Very cute. And I think the backyard is complete, which means we can now start working on the second floor. Now, obviously, as you can tell, the second floor is the kitchen and the dining room. And it's also the first room you walk in when you walk through the door. So we're gonna have to make this nice and fancy. Kat actually done a really good job picking all these colors. Like usually in one of my renovation builds, I like delete absolutely everything. But as for Kat, I don't really wanna delete much. Like I can tell she worked really hard on it. This girl keeps updating my budget. Okay, so the first little section we're gonna do is like the dining room, which was over here originally. <laughs> I can see her. What is she doing? Kat is doing burnouts in front of her house. She's spying on me. Okay, so for a vintage dining room, first thing I'm gonna do is add some plants at the back and build, of course, you guessed it, a custom made coffee table. So I'm thinking we can have like two convex straights, convex straights, put them right in the center like this. And we can make this out of wood. And then we're gonna get a vertical cylinder and place this on top. Luckily she has the transform tool because if she didn't, this would be very difficult. Okay, so first one like this, and then we're gonna do another transparent vertical cylinder on top. So it gives it like a glass effect. It looks really cool. I don't know how many tables and chairs she had before. I think we're just gonna do four. Oh my God. She said it's 4 a.m. No pain, no gain. Okay, table's looking cute. Now we just need to set it. We also need to add her lemon bowl right in the middle like this. And there we go. We've got her beautiful little dining table. Um, Kat, it looks like your kitchen is dirty. Disgusting. And we're also gonna change these colors to make sure like it all blends together. We're gonna put the pans over here. I, I feel like a vintage kitchen needs gold pans. And you know what, guys? For some reason, I'm not really fussed on the color. I think I might change it to green. When I say green, by the way, I mean like a really nice dark green. See, I feel like that color is kind of nice. So we'll see what that looks like throughout the kitchen. <laughs> Imagine she doesn't like it and she's just like, uh, Alaska, my kitchen kind of sucks. I want my old kitchen back. I'll be like, uh, sorry, too late. You know what? I love green kitchens. She's gonna love this kitchen. If she doesn't, then we protest. I'm kidding. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this little storage thing. You know what? We're gonna give her a little coffee machine. We're gonna make her a little coffee machine. Okay, so like a few jars here. Oh, we could also have some cookies here. That is so cute. Y'all, these burgers, they don't go with the aesthetic. I don't wanna waste her burgers, but I'm gonna waste her burgers. I'm sorry. Kat goes, do you need more money? No, but thank you. Nah, 70K, it's definitely enough. And you know what? I'm so glad I went with green because right now it's looking so pretty. I feel like we need like two more windows over here. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add an island bench. Also, her little entry area is so cute. So I'm actually gonna keep that. However, I am gonna give her a little custom made hook rack because you know me. So two hanging towels. It kind of looks like two coats. Okay, and there we go. We've got our beautiful kitchen and dining room, which means the last room we have is obviously, <laughs> the photos actually scared me. The last room we have is obviously the bedroom and the bathroom. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do up here is get rid of everything. Because right now we've got like 10 wallpapers going on. It's kind of confusing me. So the first thing I noticed in her room was like the lack of windows. Like she only had windows at the front here, but that is not enough. We need more. Okay, now before I do her bedroom, I need to make sure like what is her favorite color because, because, um... What is she doing? What is she doing? Looks like she's having a jolly good time. You guys don't know that I can see you. I can see what you're up to. And I'm actually gonna knock down this rail here so I can make this her closet. So if I place a wall like this, because before she had a closet over here, but I feel like it'd make more sense over here. Okay, what's your favorite color? Violet. Sometimes I forget my last name is Violet. Before anything, we need to figure out where the bathroom's gonna go. You know what? I feel like this two by two is like the perfect place to add the bathroom. And this entire section here can be a bedroom. Okay, and for the wallpaper, we're actually gonna make this out of color custom wallpaper because this is the last room in this renovation and I mean we've got $63,000 left and you know what I really want to give her her own little balcony so that's what we're actually going to do because you know what Kat deserves a balcony okay so a little flat roof like this and then for the rails we just use like stone railing and add the same windows we did downstairs and put them up here and for the vintage wallpaper we're going to use detailed tiling okay there's like many options where I can place her bed I think we're going to place it over here <laughs> all right you know what we're going to keep these Gordon Ramsay paintings okay and for a vintage bed moment. I feel like this fancy double bed's definitely vintage. And because her favorite color is violet, we're gonna give her violet bed covers. I feel like white and violet looks nice together, so that's the color combo we're gonna go with. We're only gonna put three pillows today. We're not gonna be a total, complete crazy person. Actually, get pranked. We're gonna put four. Okay, so two little bedside tables right here. I feel like she also needs a nice fancy chandelier in here for the nice fancy person she is. Okay, and as you can see, her bed is kind of like facing this way. So if we put a TV in the corner right there. Oh my gosh, wait, 
I'm so, I'm so stupid. The TV can't go there because that's where the bathroom's gonna go. I'm actually losing my mind. You know what? It's fine. If we just put a basic shape at the end of the bed and get rid of this TV, we can place it right there and there you go. She has a TV at the end of her bed. Y'all, I can't believe I nearly forgot the bathroom. Like, stop. Okay, and over in this little section here, I feel like this would be the perfect section to add a vanity table. So all we're gonna do is place three cubes and kind of make them float like this. And we also need some support legs at the bottom. It's like a nice vanity table. Okay, hopefully she wears makeup because I will be putting makeup on this table. Um, okay. Why are you running? Okay, it looks like her vanity table is all finished. Okay, so her bedroom is done. Now the last thing we need to do is obviously the bathroom. I was actually obsessed with the way she done her bathroom. I mean, y'all, did you see her bathroom? That was stunning. Instead of like a vintage bathroom, I think we're just gonna stick to modern. Y'all, I just colored these soaps. Look how cute these little soaps look. <laughs> okay, so on this section, we're gonna have the bath and the shower. And you know what? Considering we have $44,000 left, we're gonna use a $5,000 antique bathtub. And you know what? She also has some waterfalls in her inventory. So we're gonna place these like behind the bathtub. And I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that looks pretty cool. I don't know why I made this bathroom so small. Like she's gonna walk in. She's gonna be like, uh, Miss Girl, why is everything so tiny? All right, you know what? That is gonna do. All right, and I think that is good for the bathroom. Okay, and just like that, the whole renovated townhouse is finished. All right, Kat, are you ready to see your new house? Kat, get over here. <gasps> I asked her if she was ready to see her house and she goes, no. So here's how the townhouse looks like from the outside. I personally really like it. Y'all, I'm scared. She's not saying anything. Uh, okay, she's looking around. I'm scared. I decided to keep the things that she worked hard on because like I felt bad deleting it. For example, in the entry area, we've got like this little beautiful section. I didn't want to delete that. This is jaw dropping. I love it. Stop making me blush or whatever. Yeah, so this is the dining room. We've got our beautiful green kitchen. Oh, where'd she go? No, come back. Okay, and downstairs we have the living room, which honestly I think is my favorite bit. Like, look at this. Oh my God, it's so cute. Yay. I love this little reading nook. However, my feet is literally going inside of the wood. My favorite bit is definitely like this little reading section. I think it's just adorable. Gordon, all hail our King Gordon Ramsay. I decided to give her her own backyard because you know what? Every townhouse needs their own backyard. I bet you wasn't expecting this, huh? Oh crap. I love this. Oh, I love it too, except for the fact that I nearly fell and died. Okay, now coming up to her bedroom. Okay, here we've got her massive bedroom. I love the way she turns around. Like you can really, you can really see her observing every single, I I'm scared. I rushed the bedroom in the bathroom because I wanted her to get some sleep because it was literally like five o'clock in the morning. She told me, I'm like, oh, so this is her bedroom. We've got a massive bed, little TV. And then here we've got like the bathroom. I think the bathroom's actually kind of cute. It's giving like Renaissance. Literally, I tapped up Renaissance and decals and that's what came up. And then finally we have a little balcony area. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I just like died. So yeah, that was me renovating Kat's townhouse in Bloxburg. I loved renovating this house. I think it was already beautiful before I renovated it. Again, if you guys want me to renovate one of your future Bloxburg houses, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.